We're live, dude. What's up? We're rolling. We should just pretend this is a live stream. Be like, oh my god, it's fucking live. Because people get to live watch it. Or my mic. God fucking. Start it up. No. <laughs> How you doing there, big guy? I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm doing all right. Dad, I'm going to start dadding everybody now. Hey, what's up? Yeah. What's up, champ? <laughs> uh, my dad listened to the podcast and he was like I heard some of it it's just dude this dude fuck dude sick dude fuck oh what he's like how do people listen to that junk Je- <laughs> like, obviously jealous he is a jealous old bitch you should tell him you're fucking jealous dude I did I tell him he's jealous all the time what's he say Shane I could <laughs> you don't think I could have been doing that if I wanted that's a tough that's a like, tough I'm funnier than you bud Damn! What do you think? You think you could? You think you can enter the market and he knows, take you out? He knows he can't fuck with me now. True. Look, even though I didn't get it, that SNL credit—it's a strong credit. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's, geezer, not- that's a that's a big time geezer respect. Like, all right, maybe you are actually funny. Oh, for sure. Like, and then to get kicked off for the reason you got kicked off, like, get kicked off for being too wild. Yeah, you too wild, boy. Yeah, that's a good. I mean, you got <laughs> the geezers across America were were full support of you. I would say. Yeah, the geezers are in. Look at that. Chug that. Yeah, there was nobody. who Anyone I told what happened, they were just like, man, it's hilarious. That's funny. The geezers. Full support, dude. But we were just talking about it. Did we delete that whole episode? Yeah. All right. Good. Let it die. We put one out. We put, we just recorded one with very low energy. Low energy for us. And then my green drink. Now you had your green drink. Now I have my yellow drink now <laughs> we're amped. fucking i need to get amps too bro true damn dude you're sipping a, are you allowed to show the label oh damn dude salt life we're gonna eat, oh that's fucking sick these are miller salt lives yo so how's the salt life continuing dude this is this is starting to turn into an actual salt life i know i know you are yeah, actual once, salt once the salt life be, once salt life becomes mundane it kind of loses its charm you're like a native you hawaiian know? Yeah, it's weird. It's, but it's, uh, I was just recently reinvigorated by the arrival of Chris O'Connor, Brian Six, and Kyla. Right, but you're so, a local now. It's only piss you off. I'm a local, so I'm kind of disappointed in the way they've conducted themselves yeah. on my beaches. Yeah, dude. You know you I mean? be like, they yeah, think like, it's fucking spring break party time. And nah, I'm like, people you live respect down here, dude. the beach. Yeah, people live down here. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I've, been, <laughs> I've been like on O'Connor's ass. Like, no matter what he does, I'm like, dude. Slow down. It's a long. We got a long way. Can't be getting <laughs> shit faced every night. And then I literally, he was like, "Dude, you fell on the beach." I I was running wind sprints. I told you this. I was running sprints on the beach, uh, two nights ago. <laughs> That's okay. too thinking about Hammer you. Were just, drunk. Yeah. What's the th- I, I still don't know the thought process. So you're. you're I don't drunk. know it either, man. You're Look, drunk. When you're down there, it's it's insane. It's the craziest thing in the world. Like when being on the, the beach. beach being on the beach at night like that, hammered, literally no one's around. You can't even see anybody else. It's a private beach. It's just you. What? And, the star- and just the stars. It's fucking insane. I didn't know it was a private beach. And it's like the, the sand is like totally flat. Like it's crazy. It's like powdery, nice sand, not like shitty. Like well, this was, I was down by the water. So okay. it was like just, yeah, pure. It felt like, you know, walking on like a street. It's just flat. It was great. Yeah, and, you, know, you start moving a little. You start. I started dancing a little. I had some headphones in. I was dancing. I used, nice. I used to be a dancer, dude. Were you really? Why'd you stop? Because ah, it's gay, and I can't do it publicly. No, you, you should get start, me alone, you dude. I dance like nobody's watching. You got to start dancing again, dude. That's from a, from a. I, I, I watched this YouTube guy. He was like talking about from a shamanic healing perspective. That's the number one question you have to ask. Some people have to ask, "When did I stop dancing? When did I stop singing?" And when you st- when you figure out when you stop doing those things, that's typically when bad stuff started happening to you. Yeah, bad stuff will stop you from dancing for sure. Yeah, man. I mean, I my <laughs> dance ends dancing. My dancing life is very, uh, mine's very fraught with anxieties, racial barriers. Because when I I you know I'm going to weddings where I'm the minority, dude, and I feel like a specimen. Like I have to like now, you know, of course I have to, everyone's expecting now me you have to fucking yeah. crush it. And <laughs> it is weird though. Cause dude, it's like, if you oh, man, imagine you, the other way though, imagine if you were a black guy who couldn't dance and he went to like an all white wedding, you'd still be better than everybody else. Everyone you'd was still- like, come on, get out there. No, there's <laughs> black, there's black dorks. There's black That's dorks. True. No, there are, uh, 
there's actually a good amount of black people that suck at dancing. That's actually, that is confirmable, but yeah. standard, standard issue fucking kills it, dude. <laughs> standard issue. Black guy. Kills it is so much better than the average white dancer at a white wedding. So I was like, down there headphones in just, I mean, unbelievable. Moves. You're like a black dancer on the beach. The moves. It was unbelievable. What you do? What kind, of move, what kind of moves? Hit me with the moves. <laughs> You Come think on. I'm fucking you think I was born yesterday, Matt? <laughs> no, I want to know like what were you doing? You think I was born yesterday? So there's that one big one everyone's doing right now. They go Ch -ch -ch. Ch -ch -ch. Did you see that? That's no, a viral, that's currently a viral dance craze. There's Let a song there's a song where everyone walks like this and goes Ch -ch -ch. and then the next person comes in and he goes Ch -ch -ch. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have seen that. Um that's a whole realm of being, dude. Just a like, line of people. Well, no. The do you see the Cardi B thing where it's, it's like, like coronavirus? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that was not. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, bro. You don't think I've been practicing? Damn, dude. There was a it's Cardi life, dude. I go down. It's dance life. Also, True. I go down. I dance. I run. I do up downs. Dude, post post corona. No, this is what happened. I literally woke up that day and I was mm -hmm. like, damn. I used to like play basketball every single day, like hard. I was yeah. like, dude, if I ran right now, I think I would fall apart. I was like, what am I doing? What am I? And then I was sitting down at the beach. I was like, I haven't been like hit in forever. I was like, when's the last time something hurt? That's a dangerous that way, that thought got process. Me, that got me doing some up downs. <laughs> Started diving straight on my belly. And I was like, all right, this hurts. So you, you inflicted some pain on yourself. I wanted to see what it felt like. I haven't, I haven't had contact in a while, bro. So what are you going to do about the fact that you, you started, you did that workout on the beach at nighttime? You weren't, were you happy with it? You know, I was delighted. I mean, despite, so I started running some sprints and then uh, I fell hard <laughs> on one of them, which uh, was inevitable. Cause I was like, I was like, damn dude, I'm killing it. I can move. Mm -hmm. It's like, holy shit. I forgot I can actually run. And then I fell pretty hard. Damn. Bro. Scrape my knee, dude. I got a bomb knee now. You have a boo-boo. I have a bit of a boo-boo. You got a boo-boo on your knee? I'm a boo-boo. <laughs> yeah, fucking... Let me see that thing. Ah, and a, that'll, and that'll a, a decent bruise. That's a stinger. You see that bruise? Let me see that bruise. Ooh, that'll come out in the bruise. next couple days. It's and not yellow that, yet. It's yellow, it's boy, healing. Dude. If it's yellow, that's it's healing. That's salt life, though. That's just however it goes. You get scratched up, man. It's no big deal. <laughs> I thought that was boogie rash. I thought you had a boogie board rash. Nah, that's the sand burn. Have you boogied at all? No boogies. The water's too chilly. What? I mean, I'll go out there strictly wetsuit, to press. Wetsuit? Strictly to whiz. I, yeah, I did see they were selling wetsuits, and I was thinking about buying one. You have to get one. Because anytime somebody with, like, my body shape is in a wetsuit, it's very funny. It's kind of that's, – that's not bad. When you get fat – when you get somebody with, like, love I've handles. Never, in I've a, never seen a bigger dude in a wetsuit, actually. Haunches. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a bigger dude in a wetsuit. Well, there's no point for me to. I don't come out and, dude. I'm I've, a, I've I'm never like seen a, a BBM. Grass. I've never seen a BBM hop in a wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> you're one too, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. You got some bitch ass hips. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm just. Uh, what would I be known as? I'm, I'm thick. No, you're not. You have I'm thick. You're fat, BBM. Well, you, you have you're fat BBM. hips, dude. Shut up. <laughs> you're BBM. I'm thick, dude. I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking BBM. chunky. Chunky at most. Yeah. I'm chunky I'll at most, that. dude. <laughs> no, nah, you're rarely chunky, but you do have a you do have a very unathletic frame. You built like <laughs> not true. I have a big you're, ass dude. You're very broad, but very non-explosive. I can tell there's no explosive Please, movements. Please, that's all I have. That's all I am is explosive. Man, I know you don't have explosive movements. Are you serious? That's yeah, all I have. You shit that's... on your own ass today, dude. You're not an athlete. That's explosive. <laughs> you shit all over yourself. That's why we had to wait. Yeah, my bad about that. The podcast was delayed because I, I took a, oh, I took a dump that it was a healthy one too. The dump itself wasn't bad it was just it just wasn't my complete and you tried to wasn't you totally complete it. i think i might have been doing like a too hard of a workout or something the day before and must have shocked my digestive system you sent it to you sent the turd to the guillotine too early <laughs> you guillotine the turd <laughs> i've robespierre the turd too early dude <laughs> and then the yeah the turd's head smeared up your crack well yeah I, I literally i was telling you earlier i wiped my ass and gave myself a white a racing stripe right on the tailbone dude and just full-on war paint and was like fuck man yeah, you had that old shower, Herbie. Hit the lockers, dude. You had like, the Herbie, dude. You had the love bug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I got same thing. Got off the toilet, left a like a stamp down on the to- my upper butt crack somehow. Dude, I, I run into those on the like on because oh, I you know I travel fuck, a lot. Man. I'll run into those <laughs> those Rorschach dumps on the back, the stamps on the back of the toilet seat where like someone Banksy. clearly just. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like all the time, dude. Rest stop. I do also. I live salt life and rest stop life. You do live. That's that might be the trucker kiss mark, dude. <laughs> I wonder if they do have like street artists, like you said, like Banksy. <laughs> like if someone takes a dump like that, like damn, dude. Will Tiny was here. Mouse was here. <laughs> can't, dude. Oh my god, I can't stress it enough, dude. Three days. How, How many good. days do you think this country would last without truckers? Uh, it wouldn't. It would 72 literally hours. seventy two hours, dude. This country would fall apart. Let's just let's let that be known. Well, it's that actually is truckers. that actually is true. Yeah, dude. Without the truckers, we'd be. We'd be I mean, we could I replace really them with robots it. tomorrow. But <laughs> dude, I'm saying well, we can't replace them with robots yet. We need them until we replace them with robots. What the fuck are we gonna do with them? The truckers? Yeah. Fucking kill them, dude. I think we should just slaughter them, or just let them sit in the robot. <laughs> <laughs> if they want to do it they can sit like, with the robot. like a mech suit they can like be inside yeah. of it like starship troopers yeah they, well they got to defend it from pirates oh fuck man so they that's could that's basically that's that's like old west like riding shotgun <laughs> you, you know you many just truckers? have them with a gun on the robot that's what the truckers <laughs> get to do you can still get head at rest stops <laughs> Dude, once we automate <laughs> trucking truckers are gonna never stop like sucking dick and blowing each other <laughs> oh man they're already acclimated to the life of just sucking dick dude when they <laughs> have to do it for money <laughs> they'll be able to pick a, like a young like meth out like twink up and 69 with them from like los angeles to like missouri <laughs> <It'll be> like, <laughs> oh my god yeah if they're in the automated truck <laughs> they'll get like bathtub fingers on their dick dude they'll, <laughs> they'll stay wet <laughs> Now we're grooving. See, dude, we're moving. We're grooving, grooving dude. First episode stunk. That's a secret sauce, dude. Get it now out. Now we're just like, dude, fire it up. Let's talk about truckers. This 69. is that other part of the turd that was still in us, dude. <laughs> it is. It absolutely is. We beheaded the first one. Hell yeah, dude. I'm fucking stoked to see you. In the I got new luxury. neighbors, dude. Who are they? I don't know. I might have to fucking. As soon as shit pops off here, I'm gonna fucking cut everyone's heads off. Have you thought any kind of survival strategy? Yeah, that's why I brought Beezer and O'Connor. Not that they're the best, but it's good to have some bros. True. It's good to have a pack. Would you? How would you utilize them if you like? If so, like you know, obviously you're gonna. No matter yourself. what, no matter what, they're both they're cannon fodder. Both of them are fodder. You would send them out. So if something's coming at us. <laughs> I'm gonna team up with one of them and turn on the other one and throw him at the feet of whatever's coming at us. You also have a woman in your house. You could. I mean. She's, She's first to go. She's going to be tossed into the trade. fire. She, might, trade she might not survive before the rapture. She might be sent out to see just off bad performance. You might, this you week. might, you could, you could flag down like a Cisco truck, dude, get some supplies. You could just have to, you'd have to True. trade her into sex slavery. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I have no problem killing any of the people I'm with right now. That's also important. Yeah. For you your, for your post-apocalypse squad. No, they can never know that true that's true no they, yeah it's all to, bro- it's brotherhood that i love them and it's brotherhood but the, the best part you need to put together a pack of dogs that you are willing to sacrifice any of them true for the minimalist of gains yeah I'm, I, I would, would kill o'connor for a bag of rice would you i sack, mean if it came uh, down dude if it, i i have been thinking about like if it because i was in i think target and i saw people like somebody had something someone had toilet paper like the last like i don't know if it's the last one bro but- that, i i'm sorry dude. i do, sure. dude the toilet paper thing it bothers me so fucking much it makes no sense to stock up so hard it really oh, doesn't paper. it doesn't it's it's uh why is that the, why is that the, it's a it's like a o'connor was talking to me about it's like a run on a bank where they're like hey i heard everyone's taking their money out well then i'm going to fucking take my money out yeah. same thing with toilet everybody was like you got to stock up on toilet paper yeah, they're, well, they're operating. Uh, I'm gonna go buy it. it. It's primitive behavior, dude. They're not even thinking. It's, it's like hard. almost not. It's almost not even fully conscious. It's like, oh fuck me. Like I saw a lady with like five gallons of milk. It's like, how are you even going to consume that? What are you? What, <laughs> what are you doing? We got uh, one, and it was a mistake. <laughs> what, the fuck, what am I gonna drink a gallon of milk right now? It's panic buying, dude. It's these people. This is like the the. This people are using the parts of their brain that like tells them to slam the brakes, but they're out in public. Like, well, you gotta get this. Uh, panic buying, bro. I like that. Yeah, man. 
I watched that David Icke documentary. He talked about it. The part of the slamming the brakes, that part of the brain. I like that. That's what. That's how people are operating. Right but yeah, now. It's, uh, yeah. Walking, walking down the grocery aisle with zero, z- the whole row empty of yeah, toilet paper. Yeah, pisses me off, dude. And it's like, what fucking dumb pussies went out and bought all of them? How is like, just grab paper. one and fucking chill? Or dude, grab, exactly. You know, grab two. Grab two if you're gonna be a dickhead. Well, I have a house full of baby wipes, so I'm chilling. I, that's all I bought. I, the, the only things left were flushable wipes but they come in like five packs i bought two of those i was like you have bro. 10 wipes yes dude <laughs> that's not gonna they're, last. they're small it's like that what do you mean that's not gonna last you have 10 individual wipes 10, you have 10 packs, packs oh of wipes. 10 five packs you got 50 wipes i have a ton of wipes dude that's good that's all you need dude no it's not 10 five packs how many wipes do you how many wipes do you think they're in a, a pack oh i thought i thought you said there was it's like 160 I thought you pack. said you, they sell some of them that are like the little testers because I got the little oh, tester no. ones. That's, I thought you said you got like the testers with like 10 sheets in there. I was like, man, that's... No, it was like a, it was a whole thing of five different or four different packs that are usually yeah. individual. It was yeah, two or four asking, packs. It's going to be good. We're set. I got actually criticized by the group when I brought that back. They're like, what are you buying so much of this shit for? I was like, and boys, how dare you? People get judgy about ass wipes. I, I leave them front and center in my guest bathroom because yeah, I, I do all of my best. bathroom. And people get me like... Who's ass wipe? People have asked Brittany, like, whose wipes are those? It's like, that's like going through try somebody's it? medicine cabinet, dude. It's like, yo, how don't about you, try you mind your own you business? Knock it. Yeah. I mean, dude, I don't understand why people don't use wipes. I can, I can kill these neighbors so easily. You think you can murder them? Yeah, she's the wife I could take. Oh, for sure. She may join my harem. You would probably seduce. I mean, in, in an wow, apocalypse she's situation. Very hot. Is she really? Yeah, this is all, this is like the richest. This is a very rich fucking neighborhood. Oh, it's like right? rich Southerners too. Rich, rich. Oh, let me like hit a light real 50 quick. Fifty-year-olds. Yeah, dude, that's uh. Sorry, edit the light on. It's all right. Um, there it is. Yeah, you're around a bunch of rich Southerners. How do you feel about that? Uh, who else would I rather be with, bro? I'd have had money, bro. You might gonna, you might start going door to door and be like, "Do you have them?" Do you, you know, did you have them? You're doing pretty well down here. There's only one way. How'd you get down here? How'd you get money down here? What are how'd, you doing? How'd you see, how'd you survive after the economy bottomed yeah, out? Right. The Civil War? <laughs> they saw me peeking out of my window. <laughs> <laughs> Some guy with headphones. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, honey? Get inside. <laughs> that guy's were like, I could fucking kill him. I could fucking kill him right now. He's like, oh, fuck. The neighbors have a retarded guy. We're fucked. <laughs> the neighbors are going to send that retarded oaf over and kill us. Uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely the Navy, underrated Navy SEALs of the apocalypse, dude. Just a pack that's of retarded the, dudes? Oh, that's the fucking squad. Imagine them ripping you up. Oh, They're like dude. chimps, dude. They're Mulling like chimps. You. They, will they will maul you. They go straight for the dick. They're exactly like chimps. <laughs> <laughs> they go for fingers, dicks, and eyes immediately. I was just talking to you Bartley were, how I don't you know. You startle a retarded guy? Uh, I don't, you I can't startle say them, they, they instantly try to grab your penis. Like a reflex, like the rooting reflex for the nipple. That's they what go they right go for, the for in a fight. Do they really? That's yeah, you didn't know awesome. that? No, I didn't know that. That's no, it's tight. like a fucking very primordial thing in... Yes. I, well, dude, I was telling uh, I was telling Butterly recently. I don't know why. Like, there's all this like jujitsu and shit. All you have to do is go for somebody's dick, dude. That's like, that's the fight end. Yeah. Or just you know get a gun. True. But I mean, dude, imagine just like all the fucking like and like and just grabbing. Like, yeah, getting, like, like while someone's got it. you in a choke. That's what it, when Lewis tried to get me in a choke, I was blocked by the chair. Yeah. Dude, all you have to do is squeeze someone's dick. The joke comes undone. <laughs> I want to start keeping a taser on specifically for tasing people's birds. Just being like, <laughs> <laughs> I want to start girls, dude. Girls stay strapped. The girls always have like a ton of self defense shit. Yeah, they always Pepper have sprays. And yeah, tasers. dude. I want to. I'm gonna get some girl gear because they've been watching fucking fucking what SVU or whatever for the last decade. They've been they watching. Love. They've been listening to rape podcasts for <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> Yeah, I. Uh, that's fucked up, man. They do oh, watch. They got them. a nice. They got a nice golden retriever too. Oh, that'll be good eating. I can, dude. This they go. Oh. <laughs> they saw you. They saw you scoping their I think dog. They saw you again. <laughs> the geezer's. Uh, Wait, he's a dad, geezer. The dad. He would have fucked me up, uh, probably like five years ago. But he's. 
You can tell his legs are skinny. Oh, I will fucking man. I'll roll on him. That's a sad ending, dude. You're the new silverback in town. You're the I'm baby silverback. In, there better not be anything else around. I've been scoping that house. There's some mansions. God damn it. What's going on here? Were you going to attack the elites? What's going on? Nothing. Sorry. My screen fucked up. So you're, you're, with, the, you're with the southern elites. You're with the southern the fuck? aristocracy. What are you going to update? I don't know what the fuck's going on. Email I, needs to show up for some reason. Your fuck email? this. What, what is you, happening? You got what for your on your side? You got to confirm your email. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, nothing. Everything's gay. Um, everything's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm, dude. There's a mansion like on the walk to the beach here that is just it's fucking it's perfect. <laughs> if this thing if <laughs> shit pops off, I'm just getting in there. <laughs> I'm thinking of it like it's like a scary movie. They're in there like and all of a sudden they just they turn and look out the window. You're just standing in a salt life shirt, just like. Meep, meep. <laughs> it would be dude i got with beezer <laughs> beezer and o'connor did you ever see uh did you ever see us no the jordan peele movie yeah not get no, out no, no, the no, one with the ice oh dude, dude it's called us there's What's a scene where they us is actually good see that's the thing that sucks jordan peele got all that love for get out because everybody was like white people are actually really bad aren't you guys <laughs> shocked by that's this? a fucked up Revelation. stereotype that all white people are hypnotists Get out perpetuated. Perpetuated the big time, dude. That's fucked up. I've and been fighting every, stereotype and my the, whole life. The best the best stereotype is every white dude or every white person wants to be black. Yeah. It's like, yo, bro, chill. Well, with that's that. kind of a tough question because it's like you can't say like, no, I don't. Because then they're like, why not? You're like, uh, yeah, true. So I mean, I I have to ask myself, if you asked me in seventh grade, that's an automatic yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, when and one, when and one basketball oh, and one mixtape was popping off. Oh yes, my black, god, dude! Black, please. Yeah, pl- like, I'll hundred. I would just be like, did, 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 yes. Like when somebody knows. Dude, when the I was younger, I was like, I should. When I was younger, I was like, I maybe I should move to the projects when I'm older. You thought about that? I genuinely remember thinking about that. Like, just you know, just get some cred. Yeah, I mean, dude, I, there's. I, was, I, I can see that. There's a lot of now people. I, now I kind of do. There's a lot of people at Temple that like. You would talk to them like, oh, yeah, you know, I used to live in North Philly for a while. It's like, eh, you rented student housing. Yeah, I meant young, like, fifth grade. Oh, I've, dude, I've I was spent- thinking about this. I wasn't talking about, like, as in, like, college being, like. But, no, if people I mean, do I, hit that I brag did hard. I did this in college. I, I moved to a house that was just me and literally two other people on the street. There was, you know, and I was. Yeah, but you didn't do it for cred. No, I was just cheap. Yeah, but that's I what a, I mean. I had a fun, yeah, I know. That's like, yeah, man, fucking, you know how it is, you know how it is around here. Yeah, uh, I was like, maybe I should just live eight mile. You should have. I wish I had. Instead, I went. I went instead of uh, B <laughs> Rabbit. I went Jimmy Buffett, dude. <laughs> I ended up going Jimmy Buff. <laughs> you know, Jimmy Buff <laughs> got was, divorced. Someone was telling me, uh, oh shit! First of all, I didn't even shout this kid out. The night I got hammered uh, at Key West, mm-hmm. this young boy, last name O'Connor. Really, young boy named O'Connor, Damn, fucking supple boy, dude. All the O'Connors, dude. Hot. Whew. Me and him could have had it. We he almost took me on the in the sand. Really? I I was giving him the fucking like. Wouldn't it be crazy if we like <laughs> kissed or something? Wait, so you guys just like, took a beach walk by yourselves? Yeah. Well, he kept trying to. He was. He went to the show. He was a dog. He's a dog, dude. Sure. He's a fan. So you guys walked under the boardwalk. Matt, if you interrupt my story with junk like that, <laughs> so check out under the boardwalk. <laughs> we didn't go under the boardwalk, Matt, but I'm saying we could have. He wouldn't let us. I would have gone under the boardwalk with him, dude. He popped, dude, he came down with like an unbuttoned Hawaiian on. I was like, Yo, bro, are you trying bro, to get me hard? <laughs> are you fucking with me? Are you gonna make me come in the sand, dude? You make me moonlight, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you can make oh, me fuck. sunlight, dude, when it's two white dudes. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I fucking forget what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I just wanted to shout him out. Two hot dudes dude, chilling in the sand. That's fucked up. He yeah, kept he wanting would... to go to a bar. He kept wanting to go to the bars, oh. and I was like, dude, I'm not going to the fucking bars. Not with not with COVID. True. He didn't. Coronies is out. I'm not going to packed bars. He was a young boy on on spring break. Oh, uh, you, you can't. Stop. He he was 27 and yoked, dude. He didn't care. I mean, that must. Have, that's a tough. I'm getting pussy switched to turn off of all those kids on spring break. 
the state, the yeah. fact that the state stepped in and was like, no, no, guys, actually, you're not getting pussy. Go back to your parents' house. Like, oh, fuck, man. Fucking fuck. Unreal. I, it, yeah, and everybody was shitting on all those college kids for, uh, like, every they would, like, go down and interview college kids, and they'd be like, well, we don't fucking care because, like, our immune systems are fine. But it's like, and everyone's like, fucking assholes. It's like, dude, imagine if you were in college and dude. you were drunk on St. Patrick's Day. And someone stuck a fucking microphone in your face. Uh, I, you know, I would have said the N word. Something I would have said in said a local news interview. I would have <laughs> <laughs> said something <laughs> retarded. Yeah, I, I would. I would yeah. be in. I'd be in hot water if somebody hit me with that. Yeah, I will absolutely murder this family. Well, also, too, they're, it's like, they're, dude, these these this fucking rich family is two people and a golden retriever, and they're moving things in one at a time. They're whatever. still moving shit in. She goes moving like. Something. One item at a time. I might go out and be like, it's quite a wife you got there. <laughs> <laughs> be a shame if something happened. <laughs> Bye, neighbor. <laughs> you should just take yeah. a southern accent the whole time you're down there. Yeah, right? yeah. You should go out and kiss his wife's hand. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Sorry. Me and the boys are cooking burgers tonight if you want to join us. Why don't the missus just stop by? Hi, I'm just How playing. Just How you doing, missus? sir? I would eat your wife's pussy, sir. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. That's just Southern hospitality. That's how we joke. That's how we joke around here. <laughs> well, dude, the spring break thing that's funny about that is uh, I thought all kids were like climate change activists and like were like. Had oh, no, no, they're not at all. All dude. had purple hearts of school shootings. No. That's all they. That's all they put them in the the news. And in reality, they're like, "You're getting fucking wasted, fuck it." <laughs> Dude, no, they've oh, always been that. Down. And what's funny is I've I know I knew that because I would fucking talk to them. They come to shows and shit. And yeah. They're like, "Yo, dude." Fucking gooks. And I'm like, chill, bro. <laughs> like every single time. Yeah. Young, young, young people out there that are like, you ask a young white college dudes who they like, they out of. The presidential candidates like to trump 2020 trump is like cool to them <clears throat> i mean like, dude, it's funny it's ironically funny to like him i mean dude i that you shit pull, i watched you pulled back week. when i just said that hard no 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 i'm pulling back because i i'd want to cough outside of mike all right <laughs> i was like Ugh. no hell no dude the uh i was watching the press conferences about all of the covid shit and it was like i couldn't believe the quest like people were People were like, yeah, well, you know, you sound a little too optimistic. Well, you know, you're selling people false hope. If he were to be like, yeah, we're fucked, then like, you're, you're just all doom and gloom. What's your problem? Yeah, no, yeah, of course, of course. So the fact of that course. he was, I mean, when they were, uh, when they were, he was talking to one reporter and he was like, the reporter's like, so what, what do you say to the Americans who are scared right now? And he was just like, uh, that you're a terrible reporter. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> also, that was, that was, was genuinely. Talking? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. That was like, that was, I was watching that like, Yo, Trump actually fucking destroyed that reporter. Oh, dude, that was... Like, he totally ruined that guy. Yeah. Well, they, it was bullshit. It, and they still tried to switch it. Like, they still tried to, like, post videos and with, like, dramatic, sad music and be like, instead of focusing... I'm burping up Cool Ranch Doritos, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> instead of, like, focusing on the issues, Trump is just attacking journalists. That's not... That's literally... Not, that's not what's happening. It's like... They're like, you yeah, know, it should like, just be like, all right, what do we do? He's right about that, though. He's what? right that a lot of them, not not that not that they shouldn't be, they should be fucking reporting. In fact, a lot of them seem to be like, like, so New York Times will tweet and be like, cases are up 370% this week. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, because tests went up 5,000% this week. Yeah. Big Don't get me up. wrong. Obviously, cases are blowing up because that's how viruses work. But it's also like. You know, can we also report like, yeah, testing is also going up. That's why the numbers are skyrocketing because yeah. testing is skyrocketing. Yeah. Well, then they're like, where are the tests? Then they don't have the tests. They're like, well, where are the tests? And they're like, we're making them. He's like, definitely making them. He's like, yeah, we're fucking, we're making them. Oh, fuck. We, we deleted this. I what? still need to find out Charles Barkley's test results. Oh, fuck, man. I was genuinely like, uh, you gave us those mushrooms. I was high on mushrooms last night. So you, that was you, me taking it easy, by the way. I was Don O'Connor. I was Don O'Connor in six. Like you guys better slow down. I was on mushrooms <laughs> watching Men in Black. <laughs> I was watching Men in Black three. Men in Black three on mushrooms. Mibs three. Mibs 
rules, dude. It's dude, it's so good. <laughs> I first off, I've never not in mushrooms are the best. Are there, they might be. The, I don't I mean, understand the best. what the holdup is at all. They just got lumped into drugs, which they're not. They got they are. lumped into the wrong category. I don't think they're so. good drugs. They're good for you. They're on the if you go for the harm index, they're like might be the lowest. Really? Yeah. In terms of like, I think like the LD. What is like the LD fifty is like when fit like something that like says like how toxic things are. You yeah. would have to eat like, <laughs> fuck man, like ten pounds of mushrooms before you like you put yourself, which isn't physically impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be oh my god. I mean, Can you dude, imagine. No, I, I no. You would, you would like, be in a different universe, dude. If I had like to... one cap, and like yeah, I I got greedy on the stems. I probably had like five stems last night. I had about a half an eighth. That's what's up. I was having fun, dude. I was just watching. I was just nice and easy. I was like, let's take it easy. That's a chill. But that's a chill sesh for sure. That was a chill sesh. That was definitely not too intense. Mm-hmm. There were waves. Yeah, we were kind of kicking. There were waves of intensity where I was like, oh, I don't want to be around anybody. Like, they would come in and I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. (laughs) O'Connor would come in, like, yelling because he was drunk. I'd be like, get out of this room. Yeah, that's weird being around. Watching MIBs. When you're on mushrooms, you don't really want to be around people who aren't on mushrooms because they're just He was on mushrooms, but he was also hammered. I wasn't drunk. Yeah, alcohol on mushrooms. he He had a fun energy, and I was more of just a... You just want to watch MIBs. This is nice. I had a blanket on the couch watching MIBs. Oh. I was kicking my feet in the blanket the whole time. Just that's it. <laughs> it was so fucking nice, dude. That's funny. I feel like whenever you do mushrooms, you you seek like you 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 uh, swaddle yourself. True, pretty I really tight. do every single time. That's I pretty told cool. You, actually, I've been bringing it up every time I see you holding your baby. Oh, you want to be like, swaddled? Oh, I wish you, I wish you were holding me. I wish you were swaddling me, dude. You could pay somebody to swaddle you for sure. I could swaddle you. I know how to swaddle now. Uh, oh, you're gonna need a tarp. No, the regular blanket. In, the regular blanket. With <laughs> Let me. Pull, I have to blow my nose. Hold on one second. I have. Don't pause. It's just blow your nose. I don't have any tissues. Run upstairs. All right. You're gonna. You wanna keep blow the mask there? Uh, yeah, I'll talk to the people. Talk to the peeps. I'll be. I gotta blow my nose. Oh soon. wait. Why don't you throw up that uh, YouTube video? All right. Yeah, I'll do that. Good idea, actually. Let me. Uh, ah, fuck it. Or I pause can just it, talk dude. To I, my text. <laughs> them so much. Yo, we're back on, brother. We're back on. You, What's I up? was fucking with your dogs very much when you ran upstairs. What were they doing? It was very fun. Oh. No, I was just yelling. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go to the dog park? They couldn't hear. Both. All the audio. No, they could. From... No, Did they hear through the headphones. Yes, they could hear. That was mother. Damn, they're gonna be keyed. They up couldn't now. hear through the headphones. I think the, uh, the it was coming through. Out? It was only coming through my headphones. But yeah, they, they mean, were one hundred percent listening. Oh, I guarantee they can hear. It. Their he- their hearing's yeah. fantastic. Damn, yeah, dude, they, that's... Tony like walks to the computer. She's very smart. She is very smart. Jackson's a dipshit. He didn't even he look. He doesn't give a fuck. Matilda though was like walking around, looking around. Yeah, she was trying to find the she was trying to find the the leash. I was saying, let's oh. go to the dog park. Oh, dude, they could definitely hear. They could, there's probably they're probably freaking out right now. <laughs> they they're not handling lockdown very well at all. I can't imagine. I mean, yeah, dogs. I bet dogs are kind of happy. Everybody's chilling at the house, though. No, that's true. They're probably cool with that. Well, they're getting a double dose of lockdown plus newborn. Newborn's got to be tough for the dogs. I mean, they had the best life ever before we had a baby, man. I would, like, kiss them goodnight and everything. I, like, just walk over. I'm like, get the fuck out of my way, you fucking idiots. (laughs) (laughs) They are funny, though. Today, I actually went. uh, Jackson was crying at the top of the steps today while we were watching TV. And I just went upstairs and started wrestling him, and that's all he wanted, dude. He's one power. Oh, that's so yeah, sweet. We wrestled for a little bit, and I was like, "All right, man, get the fuck out of here." Damn, dude. What do you think about this uh, apocalypse that's impending? Do you think? What do you think is going to happen here? I'm gearing up. I think up we're or- going back to. I think we're going back to work in about two weeks. Uh, that's your we're with or without a vaccine. I think we're going back because we're we're not going to risk. Uh, you know, yeah, the I think they're going to stay. I think they're going to. Yeah, I think you're right. I think after two weeks, they're going to be like, all right, if you are somebody with a compromised immune system or you live with one, you guys can continue to quarantine yourself. But if, if you want to hit it, open it back up and people are going to open back up. And, you know. Yeah, they're going to have to. I read someone, uh, actually the, uh, the scientist, the unnamed scientist who does the Patreon stuff. He sent me a study today saying they're starting to figure out there's like certain climates this disease uh, thrives in. So they're, they're going to be able to start predicting it according to weather patterns, where it'll hit harder, mm. you know, um, 
so that's kind of. I guess it. is the climate is Asian cities. Dystopian, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dystopian technocratic empires. New York yeah, City, yeah, yeah. Wuhan, Italy, New York City. I think I th- the West Coast has got to be getting trounced by this fucking thing. I don't think not as hard as New York, man. New York's getting, New York's getting it bad. Yeah, dude. New York's getting murdered. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, New York's yeah. a, 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 the biggest hub, like, yeah, it's true. Hubs in the world. Like, yeah. And I guess it, New York's way on more, it's more on top of everybody. Like, everyone's more on top of each other. LA, you yeah. LA is spread space. out. Yeah. You got some space. Yeah. I was just being racist. Oh, you think there's a lot West of Coast Chinese just people? has a ton of Asians, yeah. It does, actually. My friend lives... Uh, West Coast is loaded with Asians. Yeah, my friend lives out there, and it, it's like, he's pretty much... He's a minority. His, his community is literally is mostly Asian. <laughs> Dude, know what's weird, too? And I told him this. Um, he had corona-like symptoms. He thought he had pneumonia, like, four months ago. And I'm like, Dude, you might have had coronavirus. It was funny. So I'm like, you think you had COVID? He's like, I, I don't know. He doesn't entertain stuff like that. He's like, I, I'm there's a friend of mine that was a waiter at the stand that had pneumonia for like a few weeks. Asian. Really? And he had it. <laughs> oh, look, I'm just saying. <laughs> I say it's not about where you're from. It's just about your ethnicity. That's the only thing that this, this disease only came from Asian people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yo. Jackson, you Push motherfucker. It. He's pushing it out, dude. I must. Chew him upstairs, dude. Wait till you, look at his fat ass, dude. He's calling me fat. Look at his thick butt when he runs up the steps, dude. <laughs> so he's wearing a thong, too. <laughs> Back, baby. <laughs> what are you talking about? Non-explosiveness, dude? What are you talking about? Come on, now. You see, see me jump Branson? that beanbag chair? See you, Branson? I'm flying. Dude, I have a lot of, uh, like, scouts look for like a man with like a prominent rump and i do i, I told have, you that i told you that i knew that i, told I knew you that. scouts would just saw my ass i'm like do you play Matt, sports i and told I like, you that scouts saw, they call offensive me like, line it's nice to have a thick rump and i have a flat butt i got a nice hank hill butt just a flat it's so gross dude dude scouts from all different sports would call me they saw my ass in high school and they were just like you play sports they tried recruiting like, me no just off, just i don't play ass. sports no, just off my ass. I so like, I play rugby. Play a little like, rugby. No, no, no. We said sports, not fucking <laughs> clubs. <laughs> not after school clubs. I mean, you know, what were we, the fourth team in the nation? I forget. I, I honestly forget. Every single rugby team <laughs> believes that they were like ranked in the top 10. We, I mean, we were, but yeah. Every I mean, single again, rugby, there's, there's 900 different leagues. You guys are all top 10. It's for real. It's Special Olympics for kids who couldn't play football. No, what happened to me? <laughs> What happened to me, I was too good high at all American rugby. sports. I had to go international. High school rugby is Special Olympics for kids who couldn't play football. No, nah, it's not. Every high school rugby team is like, yeah, we were undefeated. Yeah, they've, I mean, flew we down were, to Florida for a tournament. It was fucking sick. We, we, we went to we DC, went to Texas. Texas. Yeah, we, you know, we traveled. <laughs> we traveled. <laughs> so, oh, we, we, what were we talking about before we broke? We're talking about COVID. Dang. We were talking COVID, weren't we? Yeah. So, what would you do? You're talking about what? When I what am I gonna do? Survival wise, or what? What am I thinking? I don't know. He, I, I, Okani put it put some good thoughts into my head. He was just like, I mean, once he said it, it was like, yeah, it's pretty pretty. I guess common. He was like, it's gonna get to a point where we're just like, how many lives are we willing to lose here in order to make sure the economy doesn't totally collapse? So, I'm sure we can lose a million plus geezers. I mean, dude, ask yourself. Send everyone that, back to work. Fuck it. Ask yourself this question. Uh, since when did the government give a fuck about geezers, dude? When, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quoting David Icke on this, but it's like, that's a good point. He's like, so you're going to tell me the government's going to sacrifice the national, maybe global economy for geezers? The same people yeah. they've been cutting their benefits for years for? Come on now. Come yeah. On. Ask yourself that. What, what does that indicate? Maybe uh, that's a little more serious? No, yeah, it does. It's basically this is a this is a new world order stunt, basically, where it's like this this is going to allow the technocrats. This is going to give the technocrats reason to start tracking your every move, everything on. It was well, they the reason they said the uh, certain countries like didn't get as sick was that they would trace your location and then see whoever was around you and then tell all the force all those other people in a quarantine. Like China was able to. China will lock you in your room. They'll, they'll say go yeah. to bed. They'll lock. No, they'll, they'll, they'll lock your apartment. Tell you, it's bedtime. Yeah, they'll lock your apartment from outside. 
um so yeah, those videos coming out of china i just see the thing is i don't know how many of those are real but it's always like them like ripping people out of cars and shit like i don't think they fake they're getting either. rowdy there was one i saw of like a like chain gang of sick people like they were like handcuffed in a line getting marched out of a town what the fuck i mean also even if they're not real there's still a chain gang in china so, like they're yeah they're still doing people. it also what's really funny is china was like china announced like this week they're like no we have no new uh cases this week it's like yeah sure china <laughs> <laughs> you fucking liars dude you guys lied non-stop <laughs> i mean apparently i think they said it, it honestly is like when iran was like no we don't have one gay guy here oh yeah for sure like, okay yeah thanks like, thanks for that yeah. report thanks china it, thanks well, for your report no new cases this week okay i think now they're <laughs> saying officially it came from pangolins and not bats so it came from like armadillers no. oh okay it's like a penguin. They said penguins. No, penguins. Yes. Like a, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Old, I've okay. seen that boy. Yeah, did you munch them? He's got you like a. Munch them? No, but I, I guess I guess it was some sort of bat penguin combo though. You had the so you had the fucking sky in turf. <laughs> <laughs> you had I a, guess oh, it was. You wait. You said you munched, or you think that's what? No, I wouldn't munch. That's what causes the disease. That's for your joke. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's what calls anytime the disease. You Josh, anytime you drop a dime, dude, I'll hit you with the thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, uh, uh, no, I, 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 the bats, bats are involved in this. Okay, they're in the mix. Bats somehow were in the mix. So a, bat, so a pangolin and a, a... A pangolin and a bat were probably caged next to each other, and a bat was probably sucking on a fucking pangolin's foot or some shit, well, biting him. The disease is straight animal. It's an animal to human yeah. transmission, which is apparently yeah. not like a regular thing. No, it's very irregular. But that we had. knew, everybody knew that it was always going to come from fucking Chinese markets. Did dude. you see Everyone the research like, paper from 2017? Yeah, from like 08? Yeah, oh, it was 08. There was one from like 07 that was like, like this is bad. It's going to be, they're going to be, we're going to get something bad from this. I mean, and that's People the thing. Fucking putting snakes and bats in blenders dude they're making witches brews <laughs> all the time true dude. that is a witch's brew they're like eye of newt good that's actually a good appetizer <laughs> dude that'd be, that'd be a dude, why is it so funny to make fun of what they're eating <laughs> oh, it's really what's funny really is <laughs> the fact that it's funny dude? is to think that like a witch's cocktail which is like yeah yeah, they're like, mm, this, they just champ witch fucking potions. Like, no, is- I'm sorry. O'Connor is literally, he just opened the door and was like, we're cooking burgers. Do you want cheese? Like, dude. Damn, dude. You a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> dude, think about a Chinese guy champing a witch's potion. Like, no, actually, this is delicious. And the witch is like, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's like. Chinese guy just munching more and more of it. Is that salamander? She's like, like, oh, fuck? shit, you even fucking put some newt in this. <laughs> Salamander and newt? I haven't had this since Wuhan. <laughs> you got any yeah, bats? I mean, dude, <laughs> it's not like a moral, like, I don't, I'm not pissed at, like, Chinese people. It's, but if. I'm if, furious right now about O'Connor doing what he just did. I mean, that, yeah, that would, that would chat my ass. Imagine, uh, imagine if, like, <laughs> from people not picking up their dog shit, all of a sudden the whole world is, like, global pandemic. People are dying and shit. You could be like motherfuckers, dog owners, motherfuckers with dogs yeah. cause this goddamn disease. I I don't know why they're trying to say that it, it didn't come from. What's the point of saying it didn't come from China? What do you think it's these fucking identity politics fucking pussies who bang, made their whole lives around this thing? But being like, we don't know for fact that it came from there. It's like, no, I think we do. I think I think that's pretty yeah. factual. I remember the first the first video I saw about it. It was like. No, it didn't come from people eating bats. And then, like, the fucking WHO was like, yeah, it probably came from people eating bats. Yeah. <laughs> it was like all these fucking, like, YouTubers are like, please stop being ignorant. I'm a doctor. It did not come from that. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking What the fuck would you know? I'm a sports medicine. I have a master's in sports medicine. Yeah, I have a master's in plyometrics <laughs> and the karaoke st- karaoke stretch. <laughs> the, uh... I watched a, a a Trump. Did you ever see the Trump fact checks that are like from Fox? It's it's literal brainwash. What, what do they support him? 
where they support him. And they're just kind of like, that's oh, so funny. Here's a rumor. He's like, that's not true. And they don't have any, there's no like real proof. They're just like, yeah, and that's not true either. And uh, oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, that's not true. And also, Trump's doing a fantastic job. And you're like, fuck yeah, thanks, bro. Appreciate the breakdown. <laughs> Fox, Fox is wild. <laughs> oh, they're, fo- they, they're, fo- I don't, I don't ever, wa- I don't ever watch it because it's, uh, that's my go to. Like, it's dude. actually embarrassing. That's my go to. I turned Fox on right away. I guess, I mean, you could live in that world. You could decide to live in the Fox News. Like, that's your reality. I mean, dude, I don't. Uh, is I it don't that see different? The difference between CNN and Fox News. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I, is it that different? No, it's not. It's just them being like, CNN's no, no, very Trump gay. Rules. CNN the whole time is like, we're dying. It's like, is this virus Trump's fault? Yes. Breaking news Trump is a dipshit. Breaking, Breaking news, news Trump munched bats. What if he Trump funny? actually munched bats? Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I mean, I, I'm at the point where I'm like, God damn it, I'm pissed off people ate pangolins. I'm like, what the fuck, guys? I'm genuinely like, what the fuck? But yeah, then again, imagine it, if eating like crab legs gave like everybody in Spain dysentery. I'd be like, fuck, man, I didn't know. Sorry about that, Spain. I would say I'd be first in line to be like, sorry about that, Spain. Crab legs are great. Have you tried them? Yeah, I mean, if pangolins it, are good, if pangolins hold up I mean, and they are delicious. Probably really they're good. delicious treats. They're probably they're fucking real delicious, dude. How delicious do you think they are? Oh, dude, they're probably so good, dude. How <laughs> like, good? <laughs> like, they're probably, if you were to eat a pangolin, I would just probably. What go would you full, dip it in? I'd what type f- of sauce? Are you talking like? Is this like a hot sauce type animal, or is it like turkey where you mix it with gravy? Oh, I don't know because you, know? you could, they don't really have bones, so you couldn't really rest it. I mean, because you could I'm trying to think of why would they like, not have bones? Pangolin, I think, aren't they like a, a shell creature? I guess no, they have bones. They're, no, like they're a mammal. Okay, so they got, I'm, I'm trying to think of like what yeah. kind of sauce, like maybe a little, like a souvé or something. I'm trying to think what kind of sauce I'd make. Because I would, I they're think all I'm, mammals. They're just munching mammals. So I would cook, I would cook the pangolin in its own shell, like steam it up. Okay. You know what I mean? Give it a little flavor. And so I, it's not like you're thinking like armadillo. It's kind of like scaled. Like a, like a, it's like a it's lizard like mammal? A scaled animal. No, but it has like, more like a kind of looks like mail. A, looks like a hedgehog. Yeah, a kind of looks like a, a armored hedgehog. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a cool fucking animal. What's your favorite part of the pangolin? I would say it's knee. <laughs> I just <laughs> no, munch the scales, either. dude. I like those scales. <laughs> yeah, you fry those scales. There you go. Now Dinosaur we're talking skin, dude. some scale some chips. Jerky? Some pangolin chips. I dude, I I wish I had a if fucking they're good, right if now. they're good, if they are good, and if bats are good. 100% Chinese people are off the hook for this. Well, you know some vice reporters about to go eat a pangolin and arm, uh, uh, go eat pangolin and a bat. Like they're probably doing it now to be like, we're eating it. There's no problem with this. <laughs> if they're good, I swear to God, they're innocent. What? Yeah, the Chinese. If a vice reporter? No, I'm saying if pangolin tastes good and if bats taste good, the Chinese That's... are innocent. Man, dude, imagine if fucking medium rare burgers caused. So, uh, worldwide sickness you'd be like fucking sorry dude They're, i like them like that yeah but then again i mean someone had to have been like you can't do like how is there no like we have the health authority to be <laughs> like hey well china didn't have that china doesn't really have regulations on people munching there's no munch regulations now they're setting up some munch regulations now people are like you guys gotta have munch regular and also enough with the dogs the whole world is like, all right, stop with the dogs. <laughs> yeah, knock it off. <laughs> it's not just us. That's not, it's so funny when people are like, well, we eat cows and they're like, like pigs are smarter than dogs. It's like, all right, I hear you. It's a fucked up thing. Yeah. But it, dude, watching somebody boil a dog. It's fucking horrible. If, if I watch someone boil a pig, I'd be like, that's a nightmare. Stop doing that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see that at all. Boiling any mammal, I'm not down with at but all. But boiling a dog is rough. Yeah, rough, man. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a. Uh, I mean, I, look. All my, all of our Chinese listeners. What I'm saying is like, I'm, I'm hanging with you guys. I'm not judging you. I, you I literally just said, a hundred percent. If pangolins taste good, this was kind of worth it. Yeah, I, I'd say that. Yeah. Like, there's geezer. no judgment here. True. And if somebody just that, told me, yeah, like you were saying, like if Cool Ranch Doritos was going <laughs> to make everybody in Spain have diarrhea, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would still munch some Doritos, dude. Oh, also, imagine how much more delicious they already eat now that you know they could cause oh. a global pandemic. When you're not allowed to eat them? Oh, my it's God. It's just like jerking off right now for you. 
Oh, dude, I'm gonna. We talk about that on this episode? No, I, I, I have. I haven't nutted. I, I like. I can't. I can't. I don't have time to nut, and I and like. I don't know when. It's like I. There's no good time. The 100 percent the move is to pause the podcast. Jerk so off. she thinks you're down here podcasting. True. Speak. She's got to talk the whole way through. Yeah, that's true. While you're Jerry, like watching porn, you gotta be like, "Oh man, Shane, that's crazy." <laughs> Whoa, dude, fuck. And another thing about China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. it'd be funny if she heard you down it was just we should have people that like a like a, a firewall to protect us on that what like as soon as we get into talking about china someone should be like all right stop <laughs> <laughs> enough i mean i don't know man i think people are being babies about i mean you can't be a baby about a pandemic yeah. if, if people are if you're seriously like people are dying and it's like well here's one of the main causes of that there's no, there's no problem in giving a stern talking to, to people who are much, who are all you can eat and <laughs> <laughs> fucking mammals, dude. On, on well, you know, we munch, we munch, we munch, we munch hard mammals. We do it right, Shane. We do. We only munch hooved mammals. True. Do we? Nah, chickens. Are chicken, chickens aren't mammals. Hey, they're mammals. No, they're not. Really? Those oh, they birds. lay eggs. Yeah, they're more like a reptile. No, those are birds. Yeah, but they're descendants of rep- birds are descendants of reptiles. Sorry, Shane. Yeah, but their classification is birds. Well, now they are, but you know, I'm talking before that. True. Technically, we're all microbes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, dude, there's no. Yeah, there's no time for pussyfooting during a. How many people way. died in I Italy? Mean- Four thousand died. That's that's the blood on these people's hands. Who is going to be like? Well, we, we should be careful before we assign blame. It's like, yeah, you ready to go to every <laughs> single one of those fucking doors? And they go, Senor, Senor, mucho. It's all. It's also funny. We all get our news from like memes now. <laughs> like uh, people get news from memes where it's like, oh shit, that that's true. Like it's apparently, I saw a meme today, and I don't think it's true. But apparently, the like mayor in this. Uh, Chinese or er, Italian town, maybe city, I forget, was like, hey, let's, during when, the, during the COVID outbreak, he was like, let's make sure you like reach out to your, the Chinese people that live in our city, like hug, hug Asian people today. <laughs> they all got COVID. Oh, uh, wait, people <laughs> this were This like, is a bad meme. That staying, was a bad meme. People were staying away from them? Yeah, there was like an Asian dude with like a sign that was like, Asian people are not the virus. I'm a person. Free hugs. <laughs> People were like hugging him and everyone got sick. That uh, was a meme and it wasn't true. There's no way that was real. There's no way that man that's what I mean. everyone was responsible. No, of course. How many that's deaths I mean. do you There's think a- he did cause? I know he didn't cause 4,500, but like how many deaths do you think the hugger did cause? Inadvertent. 25 to 30. <laughs> he killed 25 to 30 Italian WAP fucking bananas. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I was always... Oh shit! We were talking about it. I was like, it's funny that the the country's getting crushed the hardest. So, Wops and Chinese people, <laughs> literally the two countries we make fun of the most. <laughs> we were, I was on Dad Meat trying to figure it out. And my theory is that they kiss each other all the time. Italians were kissing Wops? Their cheeks. Yeah, they were constantly transmitting that. That shit spreads uh, so fucking fast. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. Like, uh, this is a great bat you have prepared for us today. <laughs> Thank you for the bat. And they, like, <laughs> spreading COVID everywhere. Uh, that and China has a pretty strong presence up there. A little Silk Road action. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. So. Really? I don't know, dude. I think it might have been U.S. that caused it. Then, well, did you, did you look into the thing about the Harvard Chinese scientists? are reporting that it was us that did it. Did you look into the Harvard scientist who was on the uh, Chinese payroll and then got busted and got, he was getting paid like $50,000 a month. <laughs> From China to, this, to this blame definitely it happened. on us? I mean, no, no, no. It, it wasn't. He just was doing medical research for China and America and getting $50,000 a month. And then like they found, you're not allowed to do Damn, that. Apparently. His Patreon was fat. His Patreon was looking good. I mean, his, his Patreon was tight during the, the Chinese <laughs> government China. starts giving your Patreon. Yeah. They're, it's gonna be fucking tight. It's gonna be fat, but yeah, dude, fifty million. I think you know, he's getting fifty thousand dollars a month, and he got busted apparently, like doing research for the People's Republic of China, and he got like arrested and you know shit. He got in trouble for it. So people are trying to say that he was inventing or like engineering COVID. That's that's the theory. Really, I, that's a bad theory. Yeah, I mean, he this guy was. I would like to know what the fuck this guy was doing though. 
<laughs> doing secret research for China for 50 G's a month. First of all, they shouldn't have paid him that much. You wouldn't have gotten in trouble. Yeah, true. Like, here's fucking hundred thousand dollars. What, what, yeah, what what research was he giving them? I, nobody knows right now. I don't know. He's probably giving them like Netflix passwords. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're not that. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. But I, I do think, dude, we're coming out. The There's going to be a mandated vaccine. They're going to start, man. I, that's, oh, that's, that's, what, that's, you fear that. I've been on this tip, dude. And it's not, it's not about people conspiring to events. It's all about the spin. So people, they're going to spin this into like, dude, the drug companies that we're going to have five gazillion, you know, there's, uh, there's a vaccine court where they got rid of vaccine court. You used to be able to sue companies for damages from vaccines. It's gone. You know who pays for it? When people do get damaged from a vaccine and actually prove it came from the vaccine, you know who pays for that? American taxpayer. <laughs> so yeah if, if you put out the vaccine you, you can't get in trouble if it fucks people American up taxpayer. <laughs> <laughs> i shouldn't be on the air right now damn i put down these high lives by the way i don't How know if you, you noticed that down? i'm in fucking house in these bad boys anyone give you a talking to for fucking going through the rations nobody here can tell me shit dog you should go boss some people around. I'm paying the, I, who do you think is paying the rent? True, dude. Who's put, who do you think is putting a roof over these fucking scoundrels' dude, heads? You got to you got to mandate dinner time and to sit I, at the head of the well, table. Well, O'Connor just tried to mandate dinner time on me. Didn't could, I? I mean, I guess you couldn't. I, I didn't see, see him, him, but I, he I could slid the door him. open and fucking yelled. We're making burgers. Do you want cheese on yours? Doing a live recording. I was like, I was, I was, I'm still mad about it. While you were talking for the last. Five minutes, I've been in my head just thinking about how mad I am at him. <laughs> Why are you so mad at him? What a fucking asshole. To interrupt it? Just come in here and scream, do you want cheese on your burger? God, you guys are going to be fighting tonight, dude. We're going to end up kissing on this trip. You think so? You guys do need to get that out. That would be awesome, dude, if you guys just came out as an official couple. You know, comment. Which one would be Rich Voss? Which one would be Bonnie? McConaughey is definitely boss, dude. <laughs> You're Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a Bonnie. Heard that? No, I can see that for sure. McConaughey is Vo- dude. Voss, I I don't. I'm gonna miss him. What when he dies? He's gonna, he's gonna die in the uh, in the virus. But I yeah. fucking love that guy. Creeps with Kids tour is fucked. Is it really? Oh, you went and did that. The Creeps with Kids tour is uh, dude. They're all gonna die from coronies. Uh, Bobby Kelly's doing uh, episode every day. I've been talking to Bobby. I was speaking with him, and he seems overly confident. He's not going to die. He's like, I'm not that old, dude. I'll be fine. I'm like, mm, bro, I'm I'm young, and I'm worried because I'm fat. You should be, yeah, worried. You should check in on him every day. Like, I'm just worried about you, bro. I'll text him right now and say, Are you dead? <laughs> I just said letter R, letter U, dead. Are you yeah, dead? D E D. Are you dead? <laughs> I'm gonna text Voss and ask him if he's dead. You should, dude. I fucking love that guy so much. I mean, dude, he is legendary. He's, he really, dude, he really is, man. He he was he was spitting some shit to me the other night that made me like it was just me and him talking. I doubt he would ever want this to be repeated, but it was a pretty fucking like cool fucking thing for him to say. He was because we, you know, we were talking, we were talking business. We were talking about our Jays, our different yeah. Jews. Yeah. And uh, J Squad. Both of us were talking J Squads. Yeah. And he was like Shane, I Shane. I've seen he's like I've had different agents managers everybody in this show business they come and go you know who hasn't you know who hasn't left me and I'm still dude. here and I was like damn boss you're the fucking man dude he is dude it he just made me so happy still here I mean dude I, I've said it a hundred times watching him champ digital graffiti was just like that's immortal shit dude Un- you unreal see somebody stand their ground on digital graffiti and just look at a screen of someone saying like the most horrible things you can think of and be like, what the hell, what the hell is this? You fucking losers. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I was my yeah. brain, like, what the fuck? Yeah. He's the, he's the only one that's ever done that. He's the I, only one capable of that. I was about ever. to say, I think he's the only person who can do that. Yeah. We got to bring back digital. We should probably do it. We should probably figure out a way to stream. It. Yeah, man. That, ha- <laughs> that should happen when we, I, I spent, anyway. well, again, your prediction is two weeks. So if we have two weeks off, we well, could. no, no, no. That's just going to be people working. 
there we're not going to be able to have a public gathering for like yeah, six months we could stream oh yeah you would need a crowd there too you need a slight crowd it'll it'll just people will just be like i don't know have you seen the fucking uh the different projections of like the the the, the curves on the death no. tolls and the hospital beds and all that shit no so if it goes unchecked if we just went about our lives yeah. this thing would like tear through the population and be done by like august okay if we do this if we quarantine it's just gonna like slowly bump up for a year this is gonna take a year and a half i don't know if i like that if we close everything it's i mean it's still gonna it's gonna take like two years for this thing to so if we just purge it'll if be we quick. literally were like yo party's on dude just keep rolling now yeah. the things that's the thing that sucks about that is we we don't have any hospital beds for that if you're scared, stay at home, dude. It, that should, that should be the mantra. If you're scared, that should, that, they could wait. Instead of sending everybody a $1,200 check, they could let people who aren't in a position where they're at risk to go and work. And if you are, they'll, they'll be like, all right, we'll, we'll give you yeah. a couple bucks to stay and chill and sit on your keister. I think that's how it should be done. I mean, the, the, it's either a, we wait for a vaccine or we let it fucking burn through the entire population. Yeah, man. Are you willing to risk the entire economy, global, on the geezers? And that's what I'm saying, dude. On one percent of our geezers, you're telling me the powers that be are worried about the geezers, bro. Come on, man. They're gonna crash the economy. Well, they're mostly so- geezers. A lot of them are catching it. Oh yeah. Rand Paul caught it. Harvey Weinstein. All the elite geezers caught it. True. Well, if you're if you're a traveling geese, you got it. Most the only self quarantined anyway. Yeah, true. The only but fucking that, clip of stand up I have online is like Rand Paul is an ugly bitch. <laughs> he just got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, the uh, I was like the nursing home stats bother me. Like, oh, two more people died in a nursing. It's like, dude, that's every day. That's true. all day, every day, dude. Those dudes it's are all day, dude. dying constantly. Like two more yeah, deaths. When when, when COVID gets into a fucking nursing home, it goes through it, dude. You think it's gonna wrap it up? Oh, it happened already. It, it happened in nursing homes in Washington. Got hit by it, and literally the whole everyone, everyone in there died in like a week. Did they really? Yeah, the geezers in a nursing home, dude. You're f- fucked. Yeah, but I mean, dude. Also, I think they were saying I, now, everything is hearsay at this point. Even like news is hearsay. But like, I think COVID can like live on surfaces. It can just live yeah, on a surface. It can for so a like you can just live on a fucking doorknob. Yeah, for, I think it's like two days. <laughs> kill two days. everyone who touches it. Two days, it can just chill on a D. It could chill on a doorknob. <laughs> I no, have D-nob allergies. Good. You shouldn't have bailed on D knob, dude. D knob was hilarious. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, I I have allergies right now, so it's like I go outside in public and I'm just like, do you? Rrr. Yeah, people are like, did I say it on this one? I was sweating from those mushrooms. Oh yeah, I, no, I was you- like, holy fuck, dude, I have a fever. I'm fucked. No, dude. I, you're, I had like, I, I'm telling you, that was your body. At right night, now. I was like just sweating my dick off. And I was like, what is this? This is a problem. I had like chills. I had a fever. You might, your body might have bucked it off in one day. Maybe. <laughs> American like you, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you, this True. thing only affects it's, liberals and old, and old people. True. This is only, if you eat steak, eggs, hot dogs, and fucking Miller High Life, you will butt fuck the coronies. No, I won't even, bother. you'll sneeze once and be like, that was weird. That's true, because what does communist China hate the most? American freedom. Exactly. That's If you're only- true free, if you're a fucking gay pussy that's out there that's like, we actually need communism, yeah. congratulations, you played yourself. Coronies is headed your way. Now you got it. Yeah, that's true. I'm telling you, dude. I I would love to see the party lines in terms of people who get it. I guarantee you, it's all liberals. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude. I uh I think they're gonna roll out. I mean, in terms of like online privacy and shit, that's gone. Like, dude, these companies. It's not like they do sorry, this on uh, purpose. Go ahead. But like us saying that shit, like just they're just like straight face. Like, yeah, I think it's just if you hey, if you're a communist, get ready, it's coming. It's just we're literally just making content to bother people. I know, I know. <laughs> there's no, there's, it's only funny imagining somebody being like, "This is stupid." <laughs> <laughs> nah. <Nuh-uh. laughs> yeah, it's it's you're getting the uh, you know when you tease a little girl and they go like, 
You just it's just <laughs> people learn words, but that's what's at the root of it. Be like, yeah. yeah. Bro. You're wow. gonna get COVID. You're the one who has it. <laughs> Man. These guys, I get it and all. As a comedian, I get it, but like this There's is no not jokes humor. There. They're not, There's no I jokes. Craft, <laughs> I craft my jokes. What I do is I go into a oh, small man. black box theater and I talk about periods. And what I do is I wear a vagina suit and dump blood all over myself and do an interpretive dance. Nothing's funnier than a comedian explaining how they are fun. Like, like I'm actually funny and here's why. Uh, Ten reasons I'm a funny comedian. It's like uh, I know. That's why, dude, I, the whole time they were like, you got to go do this interview, do that interview. I was like, if I explain why this is is funny yeah it's gay very david lynch of you dude i admire that you can't give clo- closures for the week dude you're out you're just an artist bro my bro there's nothing I- yo you want to know something fucked up what uh all right so chrissy mayer made that dumbass kung fu fighting video okay did i show you that lewis oh I, I didn't know that <laughs> that was lewis. that's what lewis is in. oh that's fucking funny. lewis is in it which is hilarious because anybody who did any of those like musical parodies is kind of gay but yeah, they asked me to do it, and I was like, "This this is gonna be bad." It turned sucks. it down. You turned it down. I said, "No way." But fucking uh, people are just crushing her for being like racist. Who for doing kung? Fu- oh, that's why they did the kung fu. It's kind of racist. It comes well. The reason it comes off as racist is because um, it's know. very hacky, and I know most of the people in it, and most of them are actually <laughs> racist. <laughs> so. Kind of a racist. Video. So do they do kung flu fighting or they do kung fu fighting? They do kung, kung flu, dude. They toss in the kung flu. They want everybody was kung flu flight. Damn, that's, that's a yeah. tongue twister, dude. Kung flu fighting? Yeah. So, I mean, kung flu. no, it's not. Everybody was kung flu fight. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. that's well, so they're saying they're calling racism on that. Yeah, well, all right. Here's what I was getting at. And this is, uh, Bo and Yang, the dude from SNL. Your close personal friend, yes. My good friend who spared me. Thank you so much for protecting me. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> with your graciousness. Thank you. Guy who actually made the cast. Thank you for. <laughs> yeah, he could have. He could have really leaned into you, dude. Actually, he actually could have leaned into me. And he yeah. instead acted like he was Mother Teresa talking to a leper. He was like, hey, maybe that guy will be all right. I'm just proud I talked to him. There you go. He reached out. <laughs> he reached out. He did. He did. He did. Actually, it was actually a good guy. You know, he's a nice guy. But did he, he say like, out. fuck this shit? Right away, he did. When I was still in the cast, he was like, yo, this whole thing is crazy. And then like three days later, when the writing was on the wall that I was getting fired, he was like, just do what you need to do to get that's through a nice, this. That's a nice bloke. Yeah, I, he, actually, he actually, I, yeah, zero problems with him. Could have been a real bitch about it. He could have, same thing with fucking Judd Apatow. Could have easily fucked me. What did he say? Was he just like... Did Judd he... was just like, I don't... He Maybe he's funny. I don't know. I've never really seen him, so... Fair enough. I'm not gonna... He was like, I'm gonna hold out judgment. Good for him. Good for him. Good ah, for he's got a lot of me. skeletons in his closet, though, dude. I don't know. He's pretty... He's not afraid to, like, outwardly... Anyway, so Bowen yeah. tweeted it. He was like, nobody in New York comedy respects Chrissy Mayer. <laughs> he fucking tweeted that out. I was just like, damn, dude, that's a little harsh. Like, you're a boy. My dog. He just trashed her. Yeah, I don't. Chris well, I mean, is cool. She's whatever, but like, she it was, is, it was she probably is like easy. A, she's ahead. like a new, newer. Like she's, she's, you know, she's a comic. She's yeah. a low level, working her way up comic. Yep. And Bowen's on Saturday Night Live. Yep. <laughs> I mean, to tweet that out is. And the, and here's the thing: if you, if you get called racist or like homophobic or anything like that, you get greenlit. You got the green light on you. Oh Anybody yeah, Anybody sure. can fucking just butt fuck you. That's yeah, publicly. It's hard as cast possible. member of Saturday Night Live, calling her like nobody in New York respects her. Everybody in the tweet was like, "Who is that? Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Why are you bringing up this person?" Oh, he was probably. I mean, it, that's with like also, Ari, anybody, if you get that green light, like Louie, no matter what he does, people yeah. will always talk shit. Piece of shit. You have that little fucking green light above your head where it's publicly acceptable to talk shit on you. Everybody in our shitty society will talk shit on you. Yeah, for sure. If there's for, no, I mean, if there's no repercussions and you're allowed to talk shit on someone, you will talk shit on them. It feel, probably feels good. 
to be like, yeah, that fucking piece of shit guy. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> fucking nobody likes him. It's like, I don't, I guess, man. I don't know. It made, it made me laugh. I can't, I mean, that's fucking hilarious. Being an SNL cast member talk about Chrissy Mayer and be like, <laughs> nobody in New York respects her. And literally every reply was like, who are you talking about? <laughs> he showed the video and everyone's like, oh, okay. Everyone saw it was like, ooh, this is really bad and racist. <laughs> that's what I, no one liked it. No, the video sucked. I knew it was going to suck. They told me what they were doing, and I was like, that's terrible. They tried to get the king of fucking Asian comedy. They tried to get the <laughs> king. And actually, there was actually a really funny tweet. Someone was like, you know how bad it Because in the, in the replies, someone was like, why isn't Shane in this? And she was like, I tried. He, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't answer. <laughs> someone in the replies was like, imagine how racist a video has to be where Shane Gillis says no. <laughs> Oh my dude, did you ever get into Mark Wahlberg's checkered past? So he he assaulted a fucking dude, didn't he? Dude, he's like multiple hate crime. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna slander him. <laughs> so <He's, hate> <laughs> his first charge was like throwing rocks at black kids and like doing some like Bronx tale style, being like, you motherfucking blah, blah, and like hard what? ends, throwing rocks at them. I think he did that twice. <laughs> I think he has two Hard end rock throws at black kids, like chasing black kids what? out of healthy. That's the beginning of it, dude. And then he beat the fuck out of like a, I think a Vietnamese guy. Yeah, that's the one I know. Beat the fuck out of him. Then he beat the fuck out of another Asian guy or something, dude. He's like <laughs> Mark. The fact that Mark, well, I was just watching his Netflix movie, dude. Oh, that Netflix dude. movie is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. I only saw. I only saw. You the loved movie. it, dude. God damn it! No, you I didn't. Loved dude, it. You're speaking for me. First of all, I saw you. I saw you pull back and be like it wasn't that bad <laughs> no, i'm not as i've only watched the very beginning so i watched him like uh, it's just it's every single mark Wahlberg movie where he's just yeah the, it's like you know adam sandler is like the coolest fuck it's every movie is about him being like so fucking cool and at all. least mark Wahlberg is jacked true the thing when adam sandler is <laughs> the coolest adam sandler for some reason is the coolest guy in every movie and it's like why is this like five foot nine Jewish dude <laughs> the coolest guy? Why are we letting him like knock people out? There's like movies where he knocks people. In Mr. Deeds, he punches. There's a, I rem, I'll never forget it. This is when I like, even as a boy, I started to notice that Sandler was making himself the cool guy. Yeah. yeah. In every movie, Sandler like wrote himself in. It's like, and then when he talks to girls, he's like, oh, sh I don't know. I'm just a gentleman. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, dude. I don't know. He punched uh, in Mr. D. He punches a quarterback that he owns the Jets or something. Mm -hmm. Quarterback comes in and is complaining and says something to a woman wrong, and Mr. D. And Adam Sandler punches him in the face and was like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You just don't talk to women like that." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, Mark Wahlberg is you're a very Wahlberg esque. You're right about that. I am. I am Wahlberg. -esque. The movie. Oh, you said the movie. Wahlberg is. rules. He, dude. I mean, and the list of hate crimes you just said to me upped his stock a well, little bit in my book it's funny if i had known he was out th rock throwing <laughs> he's rock throwing bro <laughs> he was I mean, rock throwing in like the 80s 86 <laughs> yeah crazy. when i was being born mark Wahlberg was throwing rocks at black kids and calling them the n-word i think the day i was born damn you know how vicious it has to be in 86 to get a hate crime on you that guy was doing like 1940 hate crimes bro like dude if that guy was in brooklyn in like 1930 i'd be like all right man you gotta let him live yeah 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 it was fucking 86 he was he was like holding it down like like they were like just segregating <laughs> schools, dude. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> like what? I mean, and again, then he made rap videos. Oh, well, of course, yeah. I mean, this him, next he, he probably Marky Mark was probably just him being like, I don't hate black people. What are you talking about? Look, Your Honor, Exhibit A. Dan, feel Dan, it, Dan, feel Dan, it. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> that was just because he threw stones, dude. Wait, Marky Mark. You tell me, Marky Mark has four hate crimes on his record, dude. We can we can verify now. I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, bring up the screen and say, Google, did Marky Mark throw rocks at black people? All right, let me find this thing. Let me see what's going on here. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, I was just watching Trump serve that dude yeah. up. Sorry, let me hilarious. just hilarious. 14,000 who are sick, millions, as you witnessed, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right yeah. now who are scared? Watch his chest with terrible body. Order. That's what I say. Right. Yeah. Just I think it's a very nasty question, and I think it's a very bad signal that you're putting out to the American people. The American people are looking for answers, and they're looking for hope. And you're doing sensationalism 
And uh, the same with NBC Pause and Concast. I don't. That fucking lady back right has been dressing like a Star Wars character every <laughs> single press conference. Yeah, what is she? Fucking, she literally dresses from the future in every ep- in every one of these. Why does she do that? I don't know. I don't know. And uh, most of the time, her hair actually is the exact same color and texture as Trump's. So if they stand, <laughs> if they stand close enough to each other, it, it's so funny, dude. They just blend. Yeah, you gotta watch it. It's it, when you That's watch all so of them; they're really funny. great, including her star, her constant Star Wars outfits. Mark Wahlberg's Wahlberg. a tough spell. I wouldn't have thrown in the H. Hate I crime. think I spelled it right. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be all about him beating up Asians. Don't. Eighty-eight. Okay. He attacked Asian men in eighty-eight, dude. Yeah, dude. He like broke people's jaws. <laughs> Let me see. Whoa. No pardon. Yeah, he tried to. He so he tried to get a a pardon for like beating the fuck out of the Chinese guy. And then when he got it, he like was like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have tried to get that. Uh, let me say Mark Wahlberg throwing rocks. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's check out the Wikipedia, dude. Washington Post had it. <laughs> Damn, that's a weird picture of him. That might have been right after a good. He looks like fucking, a former skater, dude. That's 2017. Let me say early life. Wahlberg was born. Wait, okay. Did you just say he had four spouses? Probably, bro. Scroll up. Wahlberg might be the goat, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, children, four spouses. Hold on. Scroll down. It's on the right. How many spouses? Oh, here we go. Just one. R- All Ray right. Durham. All right. I, th- I, I, I just saw the, the four while you were scrolling. I was like, dude, if he has four different wives, he literally is. If he has a wife for every hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> I think you gotta re-up every hate crime you do. You gotta get a new wife. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> I don't think they make it through those. Uh yeah, so young as nine children. Uh his dad was a delivery driver. So he is of Swedish and Irish descent, and his mom is English ancestry. So I don't parents, like that. No, and it's so, like that mom side. Okay, so Mark Wahlberg was addicted excuse me, Mark Wahlberg was addicted to cocaine at 13. So three years All later, right. after becoming addicted to cocaine, um, Whoa. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg went Whoa. hard in the paint, dude. Wahlberg and three friends chased after three black children while yelling, kill the N-word. <laughs> well, you know. I love how they hyperlink that. Like, you're going to cl- – you can click this one. <laughs> you can click the N-word on is this, a, is this a trap? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? How about you can N-word? click the N-word? Yeah, dude, click – ah. Oh, click me. it. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they have a whole... What the fuck? Who wrote, who wrote the Wikipedia page for that? First of all, hold on. Now I'm just intrigued. <laughs> I mean, dude, there's like nine pages on etymology. All right, that's just aggressive. Well, true. It wouldn't be bad to see who came up with it. To see who... Well, the you, Dutch, dude. I think the Dutch and the Portuguese were dropping it first. You think they started it? Well, apparently they anyway. started and Mark Wahlberg finished it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then at 88, after chasing black kids with rocks. Uh, the next day. What? The next day. It says, here, stop scrolling. Okay. <clears throat> Throwing rocks at them. The next day, Wahlberg and others followed a group of school children taking a field trip on a beach, yelling racial epithets at them. And throw, they threw rocks again. And he summoned and other summoned- people. He's like, come on, guys, Summoned come on, other gang. white males who joined in the harassment. Come on, guys. Just, he was yeah, just a 80s. lifeguard. He was a lifeguard at the time. Yeah, the lifeguard, <laughs> lifeguard popped off the shades. It was like, oh, shit. We climbed down the ladder as fast as he could. Like, <laughs> <"Dude."> <laughs> Popping off the shades, <laughs> running oh. down as fast as he could. Dude, oh, Mark, shit, Wahlberg, Mark Wahlberg Baywatch, where it's just him like this, and he's like, Three black, three Puerto Ricans. Let's go get him. He's fucking just Mark Wahlberg sprinting at the beach. Get the fuck out of here, my fucking. Yeah. So, he, and then eighty-eight, dude. He, he cooled off for two years. Eighty-eight, he assaulted <laughs> a middle-aged Vietnamese man, calling him a Vietnam fucking shit, and he hit him with a large <laughs> wooden stick. He hit him with a fucking Donatello, dude. Fucking <laughs> Wahlberg Donatello, a Vietnamese man. <laughs> <laughs> he called him a Vietnam fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> with a stick, <laughs> a large, and then he attacked a second Vietnamese man later the same day, punching him in the eye. What? Dude, he went on a fucking tear. 
And then when he was arrested and returned to the scene of the first assault, he told police officers, I'll tell you now that that's the motherfucker whose head I split open. And they noted that Wahlberg made numerous unsolicited racial statements about gooks and slant-eyed gooks, end quote. Mark Wahlberg. Whoa, mine, not he was mine. charged with attempted murder? Yeah, Mark. Yeah, Mark. I mean, yeah, Mark Wahlberg. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean. He only served 45 days for that? Yes, he pleaded guilty. He was sentenced to two years in jail. Yeah, he he pleaded guilty to attempted murder and murder and served forty five days. Yeah, dude, it's Mark Wahlberg. He had to get out there and do some other shit. I think that was when he was filming Fear. They're like, all right, come on. And then he fractured his neighbor's jaw in ninety two. But I don't. I think it was a white guy, so we're all good on that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Holy fuck. And then Whoa, became dude. and then in nineteen ninety he just became a rapper. No. And, Oh six, he 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 got another Asian, I think. Oh no, no, he oh, said no, no. he would he meet him, make amends. So then he uh, he requested a pardon, uh, and then Trin released or tr- whatever tr- tree released a public statement forgiving. He forgave Mark Wahlberg for calling him Vietnam fucking shit and hitting him with a stick. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. A bow staff wow. attack on a Vietnamese guy. Yeah. Do you think That's he was the wrong like, choice? Do you think he at least flipped it around real cool and was like, whoosh, whoosh, definitely. If I know Mark Wahlberg, I know he <laughs> definitely did something cool with that bow staff. I love how all of his movies are like stopping about like the Boston Marathon bomber. The, the he beginning. was always the bad guy in real life. Yeah, he's just a fucking <laughs> bad guy, dude. He's just out beating the fuck out of innocent people. It's just hey, what, dude. It was the eighties, bro. It was a different time. True. I mean, yeah, I can't say that. I mean, he's I was grown. born in 86. He's, he's became a, first off, he's become a millionaire ever, ever since. So I'm sure True. he's grown and matured. He did. No, I think he did. I think he, uh, I if don't know, though. You think there's part if, of him. You think if he sees a large wooden stick on the ground, he's in Chinatown, he might have to be like, Mock, <laughs> don't do it. Mock. Don, I, he's got to call Donnie. Donnie's like, Mock, don't do it. It was a mess last time. You just leave, put the stick down. He's like, I'm just, dude, I could spin. If I fucking spun, I could probably hit like three. You. I could do it. I could hit him now. <laughs> how the hell did he make it through the – how did he – I guess there's a grandfathered in. If you beat the fuck out of Asians or threw rocks at black kids in the 80s, early 90s, it's like you're good. Don't worry about it. Well, it's funny too because I feel like a lot of – I would say a lot of black women love Mark Wahlberg. And it was fun for me to sit there with my wife and she pulled – I was like, I think you like hate crime people. And she was like, nah. And she was like pulling it up and was like, whoa. Oh, she saw the Wikipedia. Yeah, dude, he was in fucking Transformers. <laughs> Black people love Transformers. Well, dude, I, I think Black they all love forget Sprite and Transformers. I think they forget the high lives are taking hold, dude. High lives are getting you. <laughs> you're saying that no, you're saying I just all, remember is, Sprite. Would you say Black Sprite people are more likely to obey their thirst? Black people are definitely more likely to obey their thirst. <laughs> they do obey their thirst, dude. They, they they shake water off hard. They're like, I'm like, I gotta obey my thirst right now and have something delicious. Beezer's on that tip too, though. Beezer, he obeys his uh, thirst. We'll never drink water. <laughs> Not a glass of water has been touched. I, I'm telling you, man, Beezer's the last. He is a relic. In terms he of really dudes is, who dude. don't drink water, nobody. There's nobody left who doesn't drink water, dude. <laughs> it's him, my uncle Doc. Sixty percent of black people. <laughs> Man, now, a lot of black people go either way, dude. They're either super fucking healthy, or it's just like total party time in terms of food. I, I mean, I'm on the I'm on the party time tip. I can't judge the, anyone. Uh, I'm on a black health. I'm a black health nut, dude. When black people get healthy, it's the best, dude. It's like full, I'm a black conservative. Full. I'm a black conservative. Black. I'm a black dieter. conservative. I'm a white black conservative, dude. What? T- how much time is this? Ah, uh, we're done. We have, we're. Done. I have to piss. <laughs> I think I called the you. Podcast. Being, I, have to I, think I, I think I called you at one point, being like, "At the event of Mark Wahlberg." <laughs> what? At one point, you can see that at one point the high lifes might have got your tongue. At one point, the, the high like, lifes have got me, dude. At one point, you're like, "This event of Mark Wahlberg." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh no, oh no, <laughs> we're losing him." All right, dude. Dude, it's his whole life. You think I'm not gonna have a couple <laughs> drinks? <laughs> <laughs> let's page let's page with uh we'll do a war mode page i think they're trying to launch their own podcast too so we'll war when mode tonight page. oh man well no fuck we'll sleep i can't be in a war room I tonight to run on the, yeah you gotta no dude i'll I'm get those boys going you. i'm fully quarantining you from war mode dude 
I, you need to quarantine me from Twitter too. I might say something. I might remember that day Wahlberg hit a guy with a stick <laughs> and then ran and punched a different guy. In the, he Grand Theft Auto that, that Asian community that day. <laughs> Uh, he had four stars, dude. He did forty-five days. <laughs> he had four stars. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Uh, who could you give your phone to? Is there a safe? Go give your phone to your neighbors. Be like, guys, I don't want to say something racist on Twitter. <laughs> they would probably get your phone and be like, they probably do it anyway. Dude, my rich southern neighbors be like, yeah. oh, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> How about I eat your wife's pussy? No, we just joke around here. <laughs> anyway, please take my phone so I don't say anything bad on the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god would you kind would you kindly come over to our quarters for a mint julep <laughs> me and my friends are having come some mint join juleps. me for a, a small handful of mushrooms ma'am um, the mint ah. juleps and, and mushrooms down in the parlor <laughs> oh connie's freshening them up in the in the parlor oh connie's ask her if she wants cheese on this burger don't be rude <laughs> i'm gonna fucking kill him for that i forgot about that <laughs> Fuck, I'm so mad about that. Oh, fuck. Slide dude. the door open. That's a, you had a pocket door? There's a door right here. He slid that thing open. Motherfucker. This is just the office, dude. This isn't my bedroom. This is the office. I, I, I figured. Yeah, I figured. I got you're a in mansion, the boy. I figured you're in the office. You can get, by the way, to all listeners, go to Airbnb. Yeah, you can go live treat good. yourself you can right live now. Good right now. It's like $150 a night in like beach mansions. Fuck, man. Get it's in. a fucking move, dude. That is the move. Get out of Dodge, dude, and just go hit Get the fucking mansion. Get out of the mansion. city. Dude, I just found one in North Carolina for like two weeks. I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, for the night of a fucking, like, for the rate of a, like, you know, holiday in, basically. You're staying in a fucking it'll probably mansion. It'll probably cost me like, it'll be like three grand for two weeks. But, you know, if we split it. You've been on the tour, bro. You've been fucking doing your motherfucking thing. That's what you get. All Spoils, right. dude. All right. We out. <sighs> this one was so much better than that last one. Oh, dude, I'm telling you. That's we the did move. the right thing. We did the right thing. You stop right away and you jump back in, man. I just want to say I just appreciate you, dude. Before we get off, I just I appreciate, appreciate before you. Before we get off air, dude. Do. I appreciate Everything you. Do. Unstoppable. I'm, perhaps I am the Salt King, dude. I think you I think you've proved yourself. I think you are the Salt King, no doubt, dude. You guys got to keep those other boys. Promise me you're going to keep them other boys in line down there. The boys are getting out of line. They need you. What the fuck? They're probably, they're probably messing stuff up. You got to get in there and regulate, dude. That's, dude, you have Jackson and Matilda. I got Beezer and O'Connor's, dude. <laughs> Every once in a while, you got to chase them up the steps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck, dude. I mean, after this is all said and done, all right. we'll be back to business. You know, people, people have to atone with the fact that they were being big pussies during this. All we were doing was getting fucking paid. You're, you know, getting paid, some, jerking off. I'll tell you what, some, some local comedy clubs might not survive this, you know, when the, the businesses get closed. Yeah. I'm going to start a GoFundMe. <laughs> I'm going to start a GoFundMe for them. We might have to say, I don't know. Somebody mentioned that, like starting a GoFundMe for them. Yeah. I'm going to start a, I'm going to start a GoFundMe where I just get all my money back from them. <laughs> Give me, like, go fund me for go, my hundred forty dollars. Go refund me. <laughs> <laughs> Are they starting Come to go on. fund me to keep them through the thing? Definitely. Fuck. They have to be. I'm gonna flag it. I mean, their whole thing. They're literally their business model is go fund me. True. That's true. We're pity, talking about good, good comedy, by the way. Pity bucks. Yeah, it is pity bucks, dude. And and since daddy, day one, it's been like, hey, can everybody help support us build this comedy club? All we need is fifty thousand dollars. Come I on. still have the DOS. I still have the DOS. Hard DOS. I might never need to drop it because I think they're not going to survive this economic downturn. I don't they're think probably so, dude. Hanging on. I mean, how can bad comedy be a business? Also, I mean, I mean that's a pretty woke crowd, but it's like people are going to be hesitant. Like, oh, let's go down there. Where is it? And they're like, oh, it's right down on uh, Chinatown. They're like, <laughs> it's, it's literally. Yeah. What's in Chinatown? I'll check it out. Hey, right, well, we're fucking... <laughs> I'm not racist. I'll go down there. Yeah, I'll try it's going to be like kids being afraid to go into a graveyard when you were young. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'll go for, I'll go run down and touch something. <laughs> I'll go touch a gravestone. <laughs> yeah. I hope, I hope our brothers dude in comedy pass through this tough economic time. dude. Please God, let Philly improv theater and good, good survive. Please dude. That's I the need, only I thing can- I want. I'm telling you, there's a check. There's checks sitting on their uncle's desk right now, being like, "Just I'll donate my entire Patreon t- this month to them if they can survive through April." <laughs> true. If they 
I'll give well, them May, which uh, you know, I'll well, give them May if they can if they survive through April. I no, we will if if they were to drop a full. But like, they uh, have to build a Matt and Chains yep plaque like, or statue like a, in yep. the lobby. Yep. Then we'll you. we'll keep them afloat economically. They have to do a, a thing of you just like dispersing money to them and them like groveling on their knees, dude. If they put that or like a Stalin esque banner that like an eight by ten that falls from the ceiling, then we will fund their theater. Yeah, for sure. We could probably buy their theater right now. We've it, we've talked about buying it before. I think now would be the time to buy that theater when it goes down. Yeah. So I'll start sniffing I think right around. now. Yeah. See if you can go buy it. Start sniffing around. I'll talk to the landlord. Be like, yeah, buy right. it. Burn it down and piss on the ashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, those guys wait. are great, and I respect all of them. Oh, that, no, they're <laughs> no, those guys are really super funny. No, they're great, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's roll. Bro. Be on the air right now. I had a couple highlights. Dude. <laughs> God damn, dude, this is too hot. I love you. I miss you. I fucking I'll miss see you, you soon, so dude. much, bro. I might just drive up just to meet you in your basement. I might sneak down there one night. You should, dude. Hop down. I, I have might a little... tub. My what? You might what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Let's go. Before I'm gonna All say right. something bad. All right, Let's we're go. out of here. I'm gonna stop this. All Bye. Right.